Hey guys, happy Thursday, happy Leo season. We're in a new season. <laughs> Leo season is a wonderful season, you know, a uh, lot of passion, a lot of fire, a lot of activity, but also um, a lot of focus on our babies, on our children, um, <clears throat> also our creative expression. So where have we not been fully embracing that, being in that, at, being activated in that? Have we been passionate about it? Where has have passion died down in a certain place where it's time to kind of move on from? And where do we need to maybe reignite some passion? Maybe need to um, ignite some passion into something. You know, it's all about bravery, confidence, having courage within ourselves to carry out what we're carrying out. It's about fulfillment, happiness, and joy, right? And that pure love. I think it's very interesting that Leo is, represents pure love because, you know, they are so, or that archetype energy is very much a, a I love you, but can you be this way? I'll love you more if you do this, all right? It's not, um, what is Leo's opposite? Aquarius, it's not like Aquarius, where even Aquarius is kind of um, in like this controlled aspect of how one operates and how it gives its attention based on that operation, all right? But they're fixed energy, so... Leo's the rulership, it's the king, it's the kingdom, you know, it's what say, it's what goes, it says what's, what goes and how it goes, and it's the leadership as well, but Leo is also uh, the conjure energy, right, it is the conjurer of, of the fire signs, right, the, she's the queen of wands, the strength card, or I should say he, because it's a masculine energy, Right, so um, this is about, you know, staying steadfast and, and true to you and um, also connecting with others, a very social kind of energy, fun loving, uh, fun giving, fun providing kind of energy and aspect. And this is on a Jupiterian day, right? And Jupiter is still in Pisces. Uh, it, it'll be there for... I think a couple of days still, <clears throat> yeah, because it goes back into Aquarius on the 28th, so we still have about six more days of experience in this um, Jupiter in Pisces energy, so continuing to span, expand on our um, spirituality, on connecting more to our subconscious, our unconscious mind, still being able to recognize what beliefs we're still holding on to that are keeping us boxed in, um, held down into some form of expression that is that we are beyond, that we have grown past, right? Um, that keep us stuck, that keep us stagnant, you know? And um, really just being able to free ourselves, right? Because uh, Jupiter is about sovereignty. Pisces is, you know, unconditional love and accepting one uh, for who it is that they are. Until they're not, I always find it very interesting. Pisces is that kind of like that one sign. It's like, oh, I accept you for who you are until it's something that um, they perceive that it doesn't work for them. So their love is, it's different. It becomes distant in a sense. And, and that's just through um, multiple uh, Piscean relationships I've had since a young child, you know? <laughs> so um, granted, I know all are not like that, but it's more of a collective energy. So it is in a sense at a distance, right? So, um, what else? Now, the moon is in Capricorn right now, so it is in a square to Chiron. So we may be recognizing the growth it is that we've had within ourselves and, and where we've healed, you know, and 
um, what that reflects of our foundation. What what is our foundation looking like now? What is our structures looking like now? What what laws have we changed within our life? What laws are we choosing to abide by now in our life? But also, what has changed in the world? You know what. Um, what dictations have shifted um, based off of the wounding that we have experienced on a collective level. But let's just keep this personal. So now with the moon, it is also um, going to be in an opposition to um, Mercury really soon. So we'll be uh, connecting and aligning our heart and our minds, finding balance between our emotional uh, aspect of self and how it, what it is that needs to be done, what needs to be taken care of, right? What what is going to bring success, right? And and using our intuition to help us bring balance to that, to bring full fruition to that, right? And, and allow those those building blocks. Um, to be stable, All right? Be stable, solid, and all of that. So um, now tomorrow, I don't wanna jump too soon, but the moon will be, be conjunct uh, Pluto. So that's gonna be revealing a lot, especially with it being in Capricorn, um, revealing a lot with us but also revealing a lot out in, on the world stage too, because Capricorn is governmental structures, rules, laws, rulership, all right? Um, it, uh, but it's also achievement and success. So we'll be recognizing what it is that, um, that we've been needing to do, what really will work for us, all right? But, okay, now, um, the moon is also in a benevolent aspect to Uranus, so we may be having some shift. We may be um, in the space of being really ready to embody our values, embody our sense of self-worth, especially with the sun being in Leo, right, because it's, it's allowing us to exude that sense of confidence it is that's needed in order to carry out the plan. Um, and in order to connect with the people it is that we need to connect with to make that happen, tapping into that creativity, all right? Because Taurus is a very um, creative sign as well. It's more an aspect of beauty, sure, but beauty is not just of the body. It's all around. It's home life. It's it's out. It's nature. It's um, art. It's However, you see beauty, their beauty lies in everything, you know, so um, this is us also making things real, making things, um, expanding on things, uh, coming to this space of success and achievement, tapping in um, to what will, uh, tapping into the gifts it is that we possess fully, right, and carrying that out in a big way. Or however we see big, it doesn't words. Okay, so um, now it is also, I believe that's the only aspect right now with the moon. Yeah, it's in, in conjunction to the North Node as well. So we're bringing together what it's gonna take to get to where we're going right? What work it is that needs to be done? Where are we going? Where are we moving to? Who are we connecting to? Who do we relate to? You know, who, who, what, how, all of that, you know, and, and taking those steps to make that forward movement um, in a way that is going to uh, be solid. And when the moon is in Capricorn, you know, kind of like when it's in, in Virgo, we, it's easy for us to to take care, to do, to make things real, to do what it's gonna take to make things real, right? Because that's what those energies wanna do. Okay, so, oh, okay. No, I'm having a lunar return today. That's nice. So we have leap here. It says, you go first, the universe will catch you. So this is about having faith. This is about trusting, uh, letting yourself, letting yourself fall 
into everything it is that you're doing, whatever it is that you're inspired to go forth with, right? And it might be something coming up with this full moon as well. So whatever it is that you are, um, have been feeling encouraged within to do, because at the bottom here, we got trust the niggle again. I think that was out yesterday, or not yesterday, I wasn't here yesterday, um, the day before yesterday, right? So, uh, definitely whatever you're feeling that you should be doing, you should be, you should do that. You should go ahead and trust yourself. Be willing enough to have faith that trusting yourself will bring you, will land you on solid, on your feet, on your two feet, right? So what is it? And, you know, she's looking behind, um, behind her. But I want to encourage you to don't worry about what is behind you. It makes me think about the, um, what is that Bible verse or that story about, um, who was that? I'm going to look it up, but I'm going to keep talking about this. Um, be willing to whether, you know, whatever fears it is that you're having that, um, you allow yourself to trust that they are not real, that that is just something that um, may have been uh, conjured up based off of past experiences. And past experiences really don't dictate what's possible now unless we allow it to, you know. Um, give me one second, y'all. Okay, yeah, so this card makes me think about the story of Lot um, in the Bible uh, when him and his family left Sodom and Gomorrah and they were told, don't look back, right? But his wife, she looked back, she turned into a pillar of salt, right? Which basically speaks about purification. So it's like, let uh, what has been be purified in a sense, um, that it offers you that lesson, those tools it is that you needed to be able to be able to go forward and be successful in this journey it is that you're choosing to take, this leap it is, this leap of faith it is that you are willing to take in order for um, you to follow your instincts, follow your intuition, your guidance that your soul is offering you, that spirit is offering you, right? <clears throat> okay, so definitely, if you are having a difficult time, you know, figuring out what it is that that niggle is um, offering you, what insight that it is sharing with you, definitely take some time to get still, meditate, go within so you can hear, right? Because everything is beginning to come together. Everything's coming together. You have people around you uh, that you that are needed, that you need, I should say, to support you because it, we can say about what's needed, but it's more so about what we need individually, what you need, right? Because everybody, it, it, it can't be everybody. It won't be everybody. <laughs> everybody don't get it. Oh, wow. Okay, well, the cards had flipped over and the writer had came out. And the writer is um, some good news coming through. It's very much like night energy. And this is something that is... Um, going to bring a sense of security, you know, a sense of stability, a sense of comfort within yourself as well, right? The This is the number 14, so this is a, this is temperance energy, right? So this is about moderation, but it's also about balance. Um, this is about bringing that heart and that mind together and letting those two work in tandem versus working against one another. And here at the bottom, we have the shepherd, and the shepherd speaks about um, like connecting with people who you have a really good, a tight bond with, even if you don't know that now. But this can also just speak to speak about people that you already um, have a bond with. So perhaps you have been feeling something within about connecting with people that you've been feeling that you've had this bond with. It's it's 
time for you to connect with them fully, you know, that's the invitation here. And the writer is, this is also um, a page of pinnacles. So um, something new may be starting for you. So it's important. And I can see that with the, the leap and you go first, right? This is something brand new, right? It may be something that you have already been doing. You're just doing it in a different way, right? Or maybe you are about to be doing it in a bigger way, or maybe you need to downsize something. I don't know. However it is that it's working for you, um, it's definitely uh, also speaking about acceptance, acceptance of yourself, acceptance of others, of who it is that they are and where they come from, and seeing where y'all relate with one another, right? Um, and being willing to, it's like some hurdle, some obstacle is being removed out of the way so that we can fully move forward on our path in who it is that we are and how it is that we're going to go about living out us. Okay, guys, so I hope that was helpful. I hope this brings you some blessings, okay? If you are in need of a personal reading, you can um, book a reading at the link below. Uh, there are still two donation readings left. Reach out to me in my DM for that. And yeah, that is it. That is all. I hope y'all have a wonderful um, Thursday. Tomorrow we have a full moon. So I'm going to go live. It may either be on, I'm not sure if it's going to be here on Instagram. Well, this is going up on YouTube too, but it'll probably be on YouTube because I want to see how that goes. Okay, guys. So yes, I will see y'all tomorrow and y'all have a beautiful Thursday. Bye. <laughs>